Now, in this section, we are going to see the content beyond syllabus which we have continued from our last sessions. That is quicksort. Whenever we are talking about quicksort, quicksort always work on the principle that is divide and conquer. So, what we are trying to do in that, whatever array we are having, we will be dividing that array and then we will conquer it in such a way that we will get the sorted array. But for that, the first thing that we have to do is assign the pilot. Whatever element in the array you are having, the first element in the array is nothing but pi. The second element will be p. The last element will be q. Because we have to move p as well as we have to move q also. So how we are doing that? When we are trying to do or the sorting or the comparison of Q, you will come in the left hand side. Okay. And what we will do? Then you will compare Q with the pilot. If the value of Q is greater than pilot, you will stop there. Say, if we are talking about P, so P should have the value less than the pilot. Now, you will move P simultaneously in the right hand side. You will move Q simultaneously in the left hand side. But there should be some stop. Because when I am moving my Q, here is P1 to stop. But when I am moving the P, it is needed that there should, should be some full stop. For that purpose, it is denoted by plus infinity, which itself states that we have to stop over here. Your P will be only moving towards this particular number. So, initially, step 1. See here, Q. Q is greater than P1. So, stop here. There is no need to move. Now, see P. P. I will be moving to the right hand side. So now this will be P. It is less than pi. Move further. It is also less than pi. Move further. Now my P becomes 80 because it is greater than pi. Now P is 80. Q is 45. There are again two ways. Check. P and Q are crossing to each other or not. If they are not crossing to each other, at that time, we will just simply swap it. Like, you will be swapping Q. But, if P and Q both are, swap, uh, both are crossing to each other, then we will change the values of P and Q with the pipe. Now, at this level, Q is at 45. At this level, P is at 80. So, we have seen that P and Q both are not cross to each other. So, what I will do? We will swap the values from P to P is at 80. Q is at 45. So, we have to Here it is 80, 
Bye. 